So here are some benefits for dual household income. Percentage of dual income households in the U.S. Uh, have been the majority for at least about two decades. In 2019, 53.3% of households were dual income, up from 51.9%. It's increasing. Inflation, all this stuff. Income. Dual income marriages tend to, tend to have higher incomes than marriages with the sole provider. So when you just have one man providing, the earnings are lower. In 2022, the median household income for marriages with a sole earner was around 75000 while marriages with either spouse working had a median household income of roughly $135,000 to $145,000. That's crazy. Poverty rates. Poverty rates are also higher for sole earner marriages. In 2022, the poverty rate for husband and wife sole provider marriages would have set, was at 7 and 9%, respectively, versus only 1% in dual earner marriages. So out of all of that, wouldn't it be wise that we start championing dual household incomes since everybody else is doing it and we see the results, especially in the white community, and we want to sit there and argue 50-50. So now y'all see why I call people who still having these conversations dumb. You, you, you get it now? Jesus Christ. Do I still believe women should be our pregnant and men should pay for everything? If you want to build generational wealth, if you really want to build an empire... My suggestion would be, like I've said before, both of you work. The only time I ever talk about being hypergamous and men should pay everything is when there is kids involved. If both of you are working and there's no kids, then yeah, it, makes, it would make no sense to me for you not both to work. It would make the income easier. It would make you guys be able to build more wealth. And because both of you are working, both of y'all can pretty much, for the most part, work a job you somewhat enjoy. You don't have to go work somewhere you don't want to because you got two incomes coming in. As long as you can learn how to live off about one of those incomes, or at least as close as you can to one of those incomes, depending on what, how much money you're making. Yeah, if you're making $135,000 a year, one hundred forty dollars together, then yeah, then you guys can you know live off half of that. And one person's income is just for investing and saving. And that way everybody's contributing to the household. I don't think there's no problem with that when you have no kids. If you have kids, that's when I say a man should definitely have to pay for everything. And then the woman should be out pergamous. Obviously, guys, when I talk about this stuff, it's not feasible for everybody. You know, I, 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 my wife works. I work. I'm not sitting here saying just don't work. Um. I would love for it to be one day where we can survive solely on my income, but that doesn't mean that I still wouldn't want extra income coming in if possible. Only reason I ever mentioned the whole don't be 50-50 thing is when I'm talking about men who are really trying to own the block. You know what I mean? I only mention that to men who are going to work around the clock. I'm talking about men who work those 12 plus hours a day, whether they're working on their craft or they're working at work. <laughs> They're trying to push as many different incomes as you can. One of the people I talk about a lot in respect to the brother, Anton Daniels, based off what I've seen and how he works and based off um, what he talks about, I think he's the man who, that kind of guy who can provide for the family for the most part because he has so many, he has six different outcomes, I mean, six different incomes coming in, you know, coming from social media, coming from his consulting, coming from there, coming from here, coming from there. And so I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, you know, if, you, if you're a guy who's like that, who's constantly working every chance they get, then yeah. But if you're a guy who's not that kind of guy and there's nothing wrong with it, uh, there's nothing wrong with um, not being obsessed with uh, <laughs> work or obsessed with your hobbies and stuff like that, you know, then yeah, then I don't think you should, uh, I think it's perfectly fine if you have somebody who works and y'all can split that time. And to be honest, guys, there are some people in this world who need to be around their spouse. Um, we're all built different. We all have our, the way we grew up, we are all nurtured in a different way. So some people, especially, uh, it's, it's more for the women, but it happens to men too. Some women want their men around at all times. They don't want them. So well, some women don't want to marry a man who is that ambitious. And I don't mean ambitious. Like he has no motivation in life. I mean, they don't want to marry a man who's like obsessive, ambitious, uh, ambitious, 
because he'll be less likely to be around. I was talking to a, a young lady the other day about the same thing. Her husband likes to work 80 plus hours a week. She don't like that. She prefer him to be around. She wants him to work 40 hours a week and be home every night. And so some women enjoy that kind of stuff. And the husband has made that compromise. And some women, they can do without. Um, all right. Some women can do without. Some women can go perfectly fine not talking to their husband, <laughs> living life. Their husband can be gone for two weeks and be just out there working and grinding. Now, I know what you're thinking. Now, these women are going to cheat or stuff like that or they're playing around. Guys, I'm not sitting, to say, I'm not sitting here trying to say I know everybody's life, clearly. But in, in most cases, that's not what happens. Most cases, when that husband comes home for two weeks, they're with the wife all day, every day. It's just kind of silly to think that every woman wants to go fuck somebody else just because their husband is making money for the family. You know, same, vice versa. If that was the woman going out for just, just fuck somebody else. Like, people can't be in love. Like, people can't really have religious beliefs. There's some people don't stay faithful. It's just not, and not everybody trying to fuck, you know? And that's why you have these discussions with your spouse. If it bothers you that this individual is going to be gone for two weeks at a time, then you shouldn't have gotten married. That should have been a conversation before. And if this person got the job at this point, that should have been a conversation you had before. Or you can have the conversation now. Hey, look, I like you being home. Now, please understand, if you're married to a spouse that works a lot, please have this, just have this thought in mind. If you decide to tell them, hey, I don't want you working 12-hour days no more, please know that the money's go down. And do not start getting any... Sometimes people have to work more to make a certain income. So if somebody has to is working 12 hour plus days and that's bringing in a good chunk of money. And because that job in particular isn't salary based or anything like that. So if the hours go down, the money goes down. Don't go pushing that individual and be like, hey, you need to go get a, uh, a degree or something else to make more money because they were already working more. And now you're pissed off that they're not working more and the money goes down. You can't start losing respect. You can't start disrespecting them or anything like that. If you want them to be home, then you get to give them a fucking reason to be home. Let's talk about it. If you're going to have somebody like that who you say, I got to have them home, give them a reason to be home. Because be honest, some, some, some of y'all, some of y'all make it hard to want to be home. It's like, fuck it. I'd rather work 12 hour days because I don't want to go home to that. Y'all make it hard not to want to work. I'd rather work all my time. And when I'm gone, I spend my money how I want to when I'm out here chilling, whether that's going to the club. You know what I'm saying? You know, doing all this stuff and living that life. So please, if you're going to live this crazy life of I want to do the 50-50 thing, well, you know, it is very useful for two incomes to be coming in. And it's perfectly fine. What gets so upsetting is when I hear, obviously I hear it more in my community. If you're broke, just say that. Wait, hold on, where's my, give, give me a second. We're going to continue to talk in a second. See if I still got it. Because it's, it's, it's the same thing that always goes on. Let me block this. Here it is. This is what you always hear when it comes to the ladies. Broke boys don't deserve no pussy. I know that's right. That. Broke boys don't deserve no. I know that's right. Every single time that will come up. If you're broke, just say that. You know, you tell a girl, well, I, I don't mind going 50-50. I think it's good for the, uh, I think it's good for the household. <laughs> they're laughing in your face making you look goofy that's all i'm saying let's 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 get away from the if you're broke just say that because what the fuck does it i mean you know what's so crazy also is th for our community that says every one of our women are boss girls <laughs> you know what i'm talking about all our women are boss babes they get the bag and they making all this dough y'all sure do complain about money a lot y'all sure do complain about money coming in you sure do you complain about and you need this and you need that. That's just crazy to me. And it's just crazy that you want to live a life. And I, I made a 
talk about I talked about this yesterday. That video will be coming up after this live stream. Tune in. Yeah, by the way, now I'll talk about that later. But after this video, check that out. Too many times we get stuck in wanting this certain lifestyle in our community. If you're broke, just say that. Shut the fuck up. It's like, what life are you wanting to live? A life of impressing other bitches who don't matter? Come on, girl. That's what you want to do? Impress some girls you don't like? Or are we trying to build a life here? Hear me the f Hear me out. Hear me out. Are we trying to build a life in generational wealth? Or are we trying to spend all our fucking money looking good for people we don't give a fuck about? Can we? Well, I mean, can we do can we do something else? Because back in the day, building that's why other communities can have generational wealth, and you have certain communities that are always broke. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The dollar doesn't circulate long. In some communities, the dollar circulates six days. Some communities, the dollar circulates a whole month. In other communities, the dollar don't even circulate before it's gone by midnight. That means they get a paycheck and the paycheck is gone before the fucking clock hits midnight in certain communities. Because it's that whole bullshit of, if you're broke, just say that. I got an eyelash business. I sell wigs on the side. I got an online business. Uh, teaching other ladies how to start an online business. What the fuck? Come on, man. We... the. People always complain about, damn, the economy is hard, and it's hard to buy groceries, and it's hard to do this, and it's hard to survive. And you worried about getting your fucking nails done every day, and having your lashes done every day, having your hair done every day. Where the fuck are you going? You are going to work at a call center. Why the fuck do you need all that every single day? You don't need to be spending 60 bucks a day to go work at a call center. To impress whom? Learn how to do that shit yourself. You a boss bitch, ain't you? Can't you learn to do that yourself? Hmm? Ladies? Are you hearing me? Mm -mm -mm. I'm not going to have it. So yes, I'm very much for men paying for everything and women being hypergamous. But I am not for the disrespect. Okay, there are certain men, like I said, who are going to make that kind of money. So I got no problem with men wanting to push and try for that. But I, the disrespect is out of order. What, th that's what she said. It said it's out of order. Let's start to build our community. I'm so sick and tired of being the worst. I'm tired of being the brokest fucking community because we just don't work together. Listen, and life gets hard. You're going to fuck up. I fuck up all the time, guys. You're going to fuck up. You're going to make some bad mistakes. Okay? And too many of y'all, as soon as your spouse makes a fucking mistake, you're, oh, I told you. Oh, I got to leave now. Oh, I got to do this. It's like, damn, he can't. He can't even make a mistake. She can't even make one mistake before you're ready to tear the whole marriage down. It's like, what the fuck are you looking for out there? You know, I get so in the, and we got this bullshit ass lie in our community that talks about, well, back in the day when grandma and grand granddad were working, grandma couldn't do shit because granddad was smacking her around. That is not how our community was living. We were not. There wasn't the man working his 12-hour days at the factory and come slap his woman around when he gets home. That is not how it was going. Only certain men do that kind of heinous stuff. Not all of us. Not all of us. Why, and I talked about this last night when I was talking about internet hate. Why do we want our fucking community to fail so bad? It's like, instead of talking good about our people and be like, yeah, man, our people are doing good, we're doing great, it's always well they ain't shit it's like where does that get us we're supposed to be building each other up and we keep tearing each other down and it's just fucking up everything and that's what they want to see guys if y'all don't understand that you're missing the point if you're not understanding that they want to see us fall apart you're not getting it you're not understanding what they're trying to do they're trying to ruin us They're trying to ruin us and watch us fall apart. So I got I got I got to turn this off. I got to turn this off. I don't know why my shit's vibrating. We cannot sit here and keep allowing ourselves to be confused. 
as they want to tear down our community to see us fall at every chance they get. I will not sit here and allow it to be. Now, they can call me a hater. They can call me whatever they want to. But I want to see us make it. I'm so tired of seeing our women walking around with their ass out for no reason. Just shaking their ass. Not literally, guys. I'm talking about figuratively. Shaking their ass and just, just showing the whole world that we're trash. I'm talking about the men. Because we, they've been brainwashed into believing that they need to have a Birkin bag. Motherfuckers, y'all know how hard it is to get a Birkin bag? They want a Chanel. They got to get our men doing the same thing. Oh, I got, I got to get her a Chanel bag. I got to wear Chanel myself. I got to wear Gucci. I got to wear, I got to, I got to get this shit that I can't afford. It's all in our songs. And they believe it's an agenda. They want us. They want us fighting like fucking animals over chains. They want us fighting for fucking like animals over purses. It's disgusting. In the in, let me tell you something before I go, and I'm going a little bit off task here. But they have made our culture feel animalistic. Animalistic. We can't build anything together. We can't build businesses because even when we have our own businesses, we don't help other people. Our businesses say, well, I got my sole business, and I'm only going to do this. I don't mess with him across the street. It's like, no, work together. It's not always competition. There's, there, there can be healthy competition. But fuck it, we got to build the community, don't we? So how about you and your spouse just fucking work? Instead of you saying, I just want to sit on my fat ass, and I'm a fat man. I know how I feel to sit on a fat ass. But how about not sitting on your fat ass all day and going, I just, I'm glad I don't have to work and the whole family struggling. If that man was to break his leg, you, you fucked. That's not how you want it to be. Okay? And if that man was for some reason his company was to fail or anything goes wrong, oh, now he's got to go get um, a, a nine to five that doesn't pay as much. Now the lifestyle has to dwindle and that's now it's like, Oh, yeah, he wasn't ambitious enough. He wasn't good enough, so I had to fucking leave him. Uh, you know, he's a narcissist. He's a narcissist. Sorry, I said it wrong. But, yeah, that's what you always get. Why'd you leave him? Oh, uh, he is a narcissist. And he wasn't ambitious. And he, uh, just say he wasn't rich enough. Just say the fuck what you want to say. He didn't he did make enough for you, for you to go out and get Birkin bags and take pictures on Instagram for bitches you don't like. Let's just tell the truth. Let's, let's, let's just get over the bullshit. Because it's, it's very rare you're going to come across a couple that the man was just god awful. He's making all the money and then he slips. And now you, you got to leave him for nothing else. There's nothing out there, ladies. <laughs> and for you men, and for the men, and this is on me here, but for you men who look down on other men who do the 50 50, you're stupid as hell. You're, you're just as dumb. Their family is doing way better than yours because you work a $70,000 job a year and they're together making six figures plus and they're only living off one of those incomes. You getting broke about a day and they still got something to work on. They're saving money, investing, and you wonder why they get to go do life and live it up and you sitting here just struggling to make it every day because you got to go to work every time and you come home and you wonder why your family can't build no fucking wealth in your family. You wonder why your, your last name don't mean shit in the streets. Because you over here getting down on men because their wife works. And it makes you feel like a big dog. It makes you feel like one of the big, you feel like one of the big, big niggas. Because you out there, yeah, man, I'm out here working and hustling. My, my bitch ain't ever got to work. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here like that, man. No, you ain't out there like that, brother. You ain't here living that life. It's stupid. It's goofy. It's ridiculous. Let's work together and build something. Okay. We are not idiots. We are not dumb. We are a beautiful community. We are human beings like everybody else. We just got to think different. And I get it. I'm the one who was making a whole hour and a half video talking about this shit. But I was talking about a subset of men. I never wanted to say that 50-50 is a horrible thing. If that's what you, I said, if that's what you want to do, do it. But don't complain either fucking way it goes. I don't care. At the end of the day, your, fam your life really doesn't affect mine. 
but I do want to see our community thrive and get better. So yes, in a way I was wrong in a sense about the 50-50. I don't think I, exp if I, if I didn't clarify in the video because I can't remember, I'm going to clarify now. I do not believe 50-50 is a bad thing. I still also believe that men can pay for everything and I'm fine with women being hypergamous. But just understand the, va the vast majority of you women aren't going to get a man like that. You can be hypergamous and try to date up, but you got to earn it. <laughs> You're not going to, those men ain't just out on the streets, just walking around. You're going to have to be a different type of woman to get those kind of men. And if you can't, just be okay with working and don't bitch and don't complain because you can't live that lifestyle. That's all I'm saying.